Let's learn the microblogging and social media application Today's Meet in five minutes or less. And Today's Meet, uh, located at todaysmeet.com, is a back channel, which is really uh, an application similar to Twitter. Uh, it's a place where people can meet online and they can communicate. This is very nice for a classroom because it's a good way to get your students communicating uh, together. Uh, it, it can be shared on a computer using the URL you can you create. It can be put onto an interactive whiteboard. And look how easy this is to work with. Uh, let's say I'm going to name my room um, Mr. Barnes class and it tells me right away that this is okay with a check mark there. Uh, another nice feature of today's meet is that I can decide how long this room is active. Let's say I'm in school and I want my students to communicate using today's meet but I don't want them to use it outside of class. That way I, I no longer have to monitor the room. I just select two hours and we're going to use the room in school. We're going to have it for two hours and then that's going to be all. Uh, let's say that uh, I want to be able to view this on Twitter as well using a hashtag. And you can learn more about Twitter and hashtags here at Learn It in 5. Uh, what I would do is just put in a hashtag. Let's say the school is John F. Kennedy and this is a history class and maybe it's History 1. I might put that in. And then I just click Create Your Room. And here I am. I mean, and it is really this simple. Now, what's going to happen is your students are going to be here. You can link this room in your blog or on your classroom website, your wiki, uh, whatever you want. You just get the web address. And this becomes todaysmeet.com slash Mr. Barnes class, which is what I named it. Uh, I could just send them there if we're in a computer lab. And they come in and they're going to put in, so it just says, what's your name? So for me, you know, I'm just going to say Mr. Barnes. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and click join. And I'm ready to go, so I'm going to begin talking. So, you know, today we're talking about uh, American history. And then I, I'm going to say that. And now everyone who's here, they're, they're going to get this. Okay, so uh, the next person, let's say, uh, again, I'm in a computer lab. I've got 25 or 30 students. They're all on their computers. They're all at today's meet uh, slash Mr. Barnes class and they go in and they put in their name and I might ask a question um, you know what did you learn in our last chapter and then I, I click say on that and then they're gonna come in and they're gonna respond and now the student has a chance to uh, put their name in. So I've opened up another window and I, I've just put in a name of a student. So let's say my, my name is Lisa Cisco, and I go in and I click join now and I'm ready to talk. What did you learn last night? Um, I learned about um, Abe Lincoln and, and she clicks say. And then you see over here how it lists. There's what I said, and then she's on top of your most recent comment. I and mean, I've opened it in another window. And this student logs in, and uh, what's your name? Jeremy Lewis, and I've just made up this student, and I click join there. And now he's ready to talk. Um, yes, uh, Abe Lincoln. help free the slaves so you know pretty simple um, but then his pops up so there's Mr. Barnes, Mr. Barnes, Lisa Cisco, Jeremy Lewis we can go back to uh, uh, Lisa Cisco um, and uh, my typing's not working real well today you're right Jeremy and, and says say and, and you can just see how this is working into a real nice chat and this is very easy to do as you can see it's todaysmeet.com you can have it going on in the class you can talk to one another it'll get kids who are reluctant to raise their hand talking you can put it on a whiteboard you can post it to your blog and that's today's meet in 